So what is this devilish thing, retrograde ejaculation? I'm Dr. Kent DeLay, a board-certified urologist in South Carolina. So retrograde ejaculation is where fluid, which is produced by the prostate and seminal vesicles, that comes out when we ejaculate, instead of coming out through the urethra, backs up into the bladder. So we sometimes call it a loss of antegrade ejaculation, meaning that when you orgasm, no fluid comes out, but instead is backing up into the bladder. So what could cause this? A temporary cause or reversible cause of retrograde ejaculation are medications. So medications that urologists prescribe, including Flomax and Rapaflow or Tamsulosin and Silidocin by their generic names, affect the prostate smooth muscle and can cause a loss of ejaculation or retrograde ejaculation. These medications, when they're discontinued, come out of your system, and you would begin to ejaculate normally again. Another cause would be neurologic conditions, such as a spinal cord injury or surgery, which affects the nerves in the space called the retroperitoneum, which cause us to produce ejaculate that goes forward. So we need a coordinated nervous response. So certain types of neurologic disease and neurologic injury can cause retrograde ejaculation. The final category would be surgeries, which are used for an enlarged prostate. Here we're showing a transurethral resection of the prostate, but green light laser surgery on the prostate, hole up or a laser nucleation of the prostate, aqua ablation. These all affect the prostate anatomy. And remember, most of the ejaculate comes from the prostate and seminal vesicles. So when these are affected, this can be a permanent cause of retrograde ejaculation. So when I'm advising patients about surgeries that can affect ejaculation like green light or TERP, I make sure they understand that this side effect is almost certainly going to happen and would be permanent when it happens. Now, it probably sounds worse than it is in that most patients report that the orgasm is just as intense and feels just as good. But for some patients, Keeping that antegrade ejaculation or fluid coming out of the penis with orgasm is extremely important, but others seem not to care. So this is a really important part of the conversation when a patient is making a choice about a procedure for enlargement of the prostate.